Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and today's video is how to make a helmet bag out of an old t-shirt. You've probably got a really nice helmet, and it would be a shame if it got all scratched up. And you also probably have one or two or more t-shirts in your collection that you can't wear anymore for whatever reason, but you love them so much you can't get rid of them. The obvious solution to this problem is to make a helmet bag out of these old t-shirts. I mean, obviously. Old t-shirts are great for making things out of because the jersey knit fabric doesn't run or fray so you don't have to finish your seams. It's also super easy to work with if you're a beginner. And most of us have a t-shirt that would probably be better if made into something else. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this helmet bag project. One way is a little bit easier and one way is a little bit cuter. So if you're a total beginner, you can go with the easy way or if you've got a little bit more experience sewing, you can just bust out with the cute one right away. Comment below and let me know which one you're making. The supplies are the same, no matter which one you choose to do. So here are all the things you need to make a helmet bag out of an old t-shirt. First of all, you need a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be in great shape, but the fabric does have to have some weight to it. It can't be one of those old favorites that is worn so thin that it looks like spider webs. <laughs> I've got two unicorn shirts that I'm going to use today to make mine. You are also going to need a pair of scissors, Preferably ones that have never been used to cut paper, only fabric. If you know, you know. A random pair of kitchen scissors or dollar store scissors will work for this project. But my hand hurts just thinking about it, so maybe just splurge on a good pair of fabric scissors. This is just a pro tip because I love you and I want you to succeed in life. Anyway, supply list. You're also going to need a sewing machine and some thread or a needle and thread if you're hand sewing. This is absolutely a project that can be hand stitched if necessary. And you could do some little decorative stitching around the edges like in some fancy embroidery floss or something. But it is much faster if you just whip those seams out on the machine. Your call though. That's basically all you need. However, there are some additional supplies that will make your project go much easier and faster. Straight pins. Straight pins for holding seam edges together. You can hold the edges together manually as you sew, but you run the risk of having little folds and gaps in your seam and you don't want that. Pinning your seams before stitching keeps them in place. A hem gauge is helpful for keeping your drawstring casing nice and even and can also be used as a straight edge for marking edges. Also a marking tool like a tailor's chalk or a pencil in a contrasting color to your fabric. A ruler or tape measure can be used if you want to be precise, but this is absolutely the kind of project that you can just eyeball and you'll be fine. Probably. And last, very helpful, this probably should be on the essential supplies list, but a single safety pin. This is used to run the drawstring through the casing, it just makes it so much easier. It'll make sense when we get there, I promise. First, I'll show you the easy way. Two cuts one seam, thread the drawstring, you're done. Let's break it down. Lay the t-shirt down in front of you on a flat surface. Make sure there are no wrinkles or bumps, you know, like smooth out the fabric. Line up the edges of the bottom as much as possible. Cut the shirt all the way across, right underneath the armpits. You can toss the top of the shirt, we're not using it. Mark one inch below the cut you made and cut that line. You should now have a one inch circle of fabric. Cut that in one place so you have one long piece. Stretch the fabric so it rolls on the sides and becomes long and stringy. This is the drawstring for your helmet bag. Now turn the t-shirt inside out and pin together the cut edge. Sew along this edge. This is the bottom of your bag. Clip the corners diagonally to reduce bulk in your seams. Turn the shirt bag right side out again. You're almost done. Cut a small hole in one layer of fabric on one side of what used to be the hem of the t-shirt. This is no longer the hem of the t-shirt. This is the drawstring casing for your helmet bag. This is where the drawstring gets fed through. I like to make this hole off to one side, but you can put it in the middle. Take a safety pin and put it through one end of your drawstring. Feed the pin through the casing and tie little knots in both ends of the drawstring to help prevent it running back into the casing. Okay, you're done. That's it, totally easy. Except the design is upside down and cut off. Can't we make the bag cuter? Yes, we can. It's a little more complicated, but if you can make the easy bag, you can make the cute bag too. Here's how it's done. 
The cute bag is made the same way, but because of the way it's cut out, there are a few more seams to sew. And there's no built-in drawstring casing, so you have to roll the fabric over and make that yourself, but it's no biggie. Let's go! Lay your shirt in front of you on a flat surface just as before. This time, use a tailor's chalk to mark the edges of your bag. Or you can just kind of cut it out like I did. Go as far to the sides of the shirt as you can. Mark all four edges and cut it out. Put the hem of the shirt aside to be used later. Put the right sides of the fabric together and match all edges. Pin the sides and the bottom, but leave the top open. Stitch the sides and the bottom seam. Clip the corners of the bag to reduce bulk. Turn the helmet bag inside out and roll the top edge over about half an inch and stitch in place. It helps if you use your hem gauge and your straight pins to measure it all out evenly before you get started, but you can always do like I did and just kind of roll it over and eyeball it. Just make sure it's big enough to get your safety pin and your drawstring through. Stitch that down, but leave a little space between where you started and where you finished, so you've got a little opening. This will be where you insert your drawstring. And again, I like to position this on the side of the bag. Now remember the hem of the shirt that you cut off? Grab that, and then there's that sewn, surged edge of it. Cut that off so you're left with a folded up piece of jersey knit fabric. Stretch the fabric out until it rolls at the edges and becomes like one long tough string. This is your drawstring. Now just like before, put that safety pin through one end of the drawstring and feed it through the casing of the helmet bag. Congratulations! Your helmet bag is done. And this one has the design front and center. Now that you've got the hang of the basic bag, you can always take it even farther with variations of your own. Changing up the size of the bag, make a little tiny bag. Now you've got stirrup covers. Make a little bag to keep your braiding bands and your braiding combs in. Or a little pouch for your phone that you can tie onto one of your belt loops or onto your saddle. You can also decorate the bag if the t-shirt that you're using for this project is kind of plain. You can use fabric paints to jazz it up or bedazzle it with some rhinestones. Or find some unicorn patches and sew some fancy unicorn patches on it. Or something else of your own imagining. These bags make great gifts for your equestrian friends or you can make them for yourself, which is what I do. This bag right here is going Going to be for my helmet that I painted to look like a Super Mario mushroom. I do have another unicorn and centaur t-shirt to wear so don't panic. This is my old one that was starting to look rough after a couple years. So it gets to be my helmet bag now, yay! If you'd like your own unicorn and centaur t-shirt, there is a link to my Etsy store in the description box below where you can get one for yourself. You'll find all the brand merch there plus handmade items by me, so go check it out. Are you making one of these helmet bags? If you are, tag me in a pic on Instagram or Facebook. I want to see what you make. There are also links in the description box below to follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group for extra equestrians. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. You know who you are. Thank you to my channel members, thank you to my Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching my video today. Have a magical day.